645 is the time. We're on the go with Joe, and he is celebrating a special birthday for Oregon's whole grain guru. Yeah, we're talking about Bob Moore, the founder of Bob's Red Mill, who turns 90 years old today, if you can believe it. Joe B is here now, and Joe, apparently the word retirement is not in Bob's vocabulary. <laughs> no, it is not, Kim. And, you know, in some ways, what Colonel Sanders is to fried chicken, Bob Moore is to healthy whole grains. If you're shopping for, let's say, oats or quinoa, odds are you'll see his beard, cap, and bolo tie, but no matter how many times his image is recreated, the man himself remains one of a kind. There's nothing in this office that hasn't got some significance in my life. My children with their airplanes, travels with my wife. I love being in a basic, fundamental part of life. He's past the age when most men retire. To your good health, Bob Moore. But in some ways, Bob Moore is just getting started. Hey, Janelle, how are you? We stopped by the Milwaukee offices of Bob's Red Mill a few days before his 90th birthday. Tell me about this right here. This is <laughs> 1929. Yeah. And when you go on a tour with this company's namesake, come on, let's go this way. Just try to keep up. Plant operations, Bill. Anything that, that needs to be run, he runs. Because you will meet everybody. And safety, right there. Megan. And learn about everything. Our social media. Hi. So you didn't have that when you started. The start point for Bob's Red Mill was almost 50 years ago. A father of three, Bob made a good living selling tires when he read this book about a man who inherited an old mill. And he says that when he started making his whole wheat flour, the public beat a path to his door. God, you know, if I could, if I could get some millstones, the public might beat a path to my door. That's what happened. Bob and his wife found some old equipment from a shuttered mill in North Carolina, and that started a small business that grew and grew. Opened up a whole new world for me. Where today Bob's image is on hundreds of products sold in more than 80 countries. Do the pose. Oh, Let's OK, there OK, there we are. As you can see, Bob <laughs> is still a very active company president. He can tell you about every element of the Red Mill, from machinery. We have about 25 mills running to marketing uh, this is the creative team let's walk in here what are they creating uh, i don't know bob says he gets up at six every morning has a bowl of oatmeal for breakfast then he gets to work for the most part it's the same schedule he has kept for decades and bob says in one very personal way his work is more important than ever my lovely wife charlie who started this business with me and my heart and soul died about five months ago and i miss her terrible Staying busy is uh, very important to me. You're nobody till somebody loves you. So most days you can find Bob at the piano with his assistant Nancy, greeting tour groups and signing books. For Dylan. And if you pay attention, there's one lyric in this song that really sums up Bob's oh, business philosophy. But gold won't bring you happiness when you're growing old. You see, nine years ago, on this very day, Bob changed the whole structure of his company. To share the company with my employees, and all my employees are part owners in the company through an ESOP, Employee Stock Ownership Plan. I very, very quickly will be passing on my last vestige of ownership into the ESOP so that we can continue to give a portions of the company to the employees. Hi, hi now. And forget about age. When you spend the day with Bob Moore, you get the feeling that this is one man who will be around for a long time. And with his final investment, that small business that he built with his family will be around even longer. So does that mean you're retiring then? No, I'm not, they have to kick me out. You're nobody till somebody loves you. So find yourself somebody to love. There. <laughs> I love it. And, and there's a big celebration today, right? There, there is. Uh, 11 o'clock today uh, at their store in Milwaukee, their whole grain store. They've got a big public celebration with cake and music and all that stuff. Another quick fact about Bob that's remarkable that I didn't even get in that story. In 1988, uh, his original mill burned down. Completely. And, and at that point, he was in his early 60s, and he could have just cashed out and retired. And he said, nope, we're going to rebuild it and re-go. And then it 
made it even bigger than before, oh went my. global. I mean, it's really incredible. I love so much about that story, but one thing in particular is the book that inspired him, you mm -hmm. know, and that yeah. picture, and that that really just launched his whole life. It's, it's just it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. And he's an avid reader, and like he said, in his office, everything, he keeps that book, like, on his desk every day to oh. remind him of yeah. his roots, and everything in his office has some Could sort of... goosebumps. Yeah, has some sort of connection to where he is today. It's wow, I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's and, and I think story, everybody Joe. has some kind of Bob's Red Milk yeah. product <laughs> in the <laughs> refrigerator, Absolutely. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. as we should, because yeah. he looks great, yeah. 90 years old. And I think we all learned a bowl of oatmeal will take hey, us far. I love right? a bowl of oatmeal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get good that stuff. bowl of oatmeal out. It's good stuff, Joe. <laughs> Thank you. Go.